Welcome back to another TGIF Tip of the Week. This week, we're gonna to try to define and outline loss of posture. Loss of posture is one of the most common swing flaws or swing characteristics, even among good players, that make you erratic and powerless and force you to have all kinds of multiple complex compensations in your swing that you don't really need to have. Loss of posture can come from a number of different sources. One that we examined last week is a flat shoulder plane. If your shoulders rotate on a plane that's fairly close to the horizon, that can cause you to have a loss of posture. If you notice the angle that I'm bent over here, and then when I turn flat shoulder plane, it's changed dramatically. Another loss of posture can come from what's called early extension. When your hips, where they are at address, move to a different place at, in the downswing and at impact. So early extension, this is flexion, this is extension. If I early extend, that can make me hit the ball right and left, fat and thin. It causes the most erratic ball flight of any of the loss of posture elements that can happen. Another loss of posture, if you have a reverse spine tilt, if you have hanging back, those are all losses of posture. If you have not too much waist bend at the end of the backswing and then you increase that waist bend in the downswing, that's a loss of posture. If you have dramatic C posture at a dress and then you sort of self-correct it in the backswing and downswing. If you have massive S posture and you sort of self-correct that in the backswing and downswing, those are all considered loss of posture. Loss of posture can even come from your knees. If I dramatically increase my knee flex through impact, this squatting down without jumping is gonna give me a loss of posture in this direction. This is what's called late buckle, and we'll go over that one a little bit later in this series of 16. Another loss of posture could be if I straighten my right leg or my trail leg dramatically and then straighten my lead leg dramatically. This locking and unlocking of both knees can cause a loss of posture. Those are some of the many sources of loss of posture. Where you can stabilize this and where I want you to start to try to make your posture more stable is simply take a club and put it behind your back, hold it in your, uh, above your head this way and down by your belt and then just press the, your back up against the shaft as best you can. Then put the club on the ground and see what that feels like. This would be correct posture for me. I don't know if it would be correct posture for everyone, but this posture here would be my best posture at address. My goal then is to maintain this posture as I swing back and as I start down, and even as I follow through, I would like to maintain this postural angle that you see right there. So from this view, press my spine up against this shaft, rotate in such a way that, that angle stays the same, that it doesn't move up and down this way, or side to side this way, side to side this way. Rotate around this axis, and then on the way through, the same basic tilt that I had at address. The concept is called rotation, around a fixed axis. This is your axis, and you wanna have rotation around that fixed axis, rather than having multiple changes in your posture as you swing. Very oftentimes, this is misdiagnosed. It is often thought of as moving your head. Well, you can see, if I rotate around a fixed axis, this would be moving my head. But my axis and my spine angle and my postures are staying the same. However, if I lose my posture, then that's when my head gets moved with that loss of posture. So it's very important, a very strong, powerful, very uh, foundational element of swinging well is to maintain your posture. And a loss of posture can ruin your ability to hit the ball consistently. If you need to find out where your loss of posture is coming from and what to do to correct it, just come see one of us on your TGIF team and we'll help you discover why you're...
losing your posture and how we can help you make it more stable. Until next time, we hope that you feel better, you play better, and you have more fun.